to grate, you just use the safe word. Until we hear the safe word, we will not stop. Welcome back, pilots. It's Plasma. We're going on a Euro trip all the way to the Cold War Germany map. We'll be looking at the PC requirements and the performance you need and the upgrade your PC will need to run this and other maps from DCS. We'll be using standard graphs, which you can see on the screen now as I'm flying on the Cox's map. Your memory usage, your GPU usage, and your GPU VRAM usage, which will appear right there at the bottom. Now, the Cox's map that we all have is only 16 gigabytes in size in total. On the other hand, the Cold War Germany map is 101 gigabytes, and that's with only one season. Yes, Cola is bigger at 188, but Cola has two seasons. Now, as we load up DCS, look at the memory usage that's being shown on the screen. Our memory is at 11 gigabytes. We are using high settings, 4K quality. And as soon as I start loading the Germany map, you'll see the memory start going up as well as the GPU VRAM usage. So our GPU VRAM starts at three gigabytes. Our memory starts at 11 gigabytes and we have 64 in total. So. We're gonna speed up the time a little bit here as the map loads up. But as you can see, the memory starts going up very quickly, loading up from a very fast NVMe hard drive. And we're at 31 gigabytes, but we haven't clicked start yet. As soon as we click start, the map keeps on loading, taking us past 30 gigabytes, all the way to almost 45 and a half gigabytes out of 64 gigabytes of memory. The GPU gets loaded up to 11 gigabytes of RAM. Now you can see the FPS at the top. We're flying low and we're flying from south to north over Berlin. As you can see on a 4090 with 64 gigs of RAM, 9080 Pro and a 12600 processor, we're scoring around 90, 95 FPS. Break from the FPS here and a shout out to Fox 3 Man Solutions. Reliable, stable, North America based and yours truly Plasma and the Red Star team has been using Fox 3 servers for years now. Go and check them out. The extreme torture map, but it does have some activity. So I'm not just flying over an empty territory. There's a tank battle going on in a couple of areas and there's Sam's shooting at hostiles. But this does show some load on the CPU, simulating a medium to light scenario that you might experience on this map. But as you can see over the populated areas, our FPS drops to about 80, 85 FPS on a 4090 in 4K max quality and over flat empty fields we're looking at about just around 100 fps in caucuses we'd be seeing between 120 to 150 fps on the similar configuration and here we're looking from altitude i've done a few external shots and as you can see when we switch where we're looking and where our airplanes or units flying you'll see a different change in fps here downtown berlin and the parks FPS definitely gets a little more tanky. And remember, this is a 4090 at high settings. By the way, guys, I appreciate all the support. I bought the map myself. This video is not sponsored, so make sure you hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be doing a VR test next. But let's turn off shadows. Let's turn off MSAA anti-aliasing, terrain set to low, and texture set to medium. How much better do we do? So our memory starts out at 9.8 gigabytes of RAM and Caucuses would load us up to, again, 24 gigs of regular memory, and VRAM would be 7.2 gigabytes used. So we're still within that 8 gigabyte limit if you have a car like a 3060. Before we look at more FPS, what's the summary here? Well, you need at least 64 gigabytes of RAM for this map and a video card with 12 to 16 gigs of VRAM. Let's load up into the Germany map. Loading up into the Germany map, Again, we're loading from a fast NVMe drive. And if you don't have enough memory, like I've got 64 here, and I've loaded up to 45, what will happen is your computer will stutter because the game will need to constantly go to your storage NVMe SSD to pull those textures. So by going to no MSAA anti-aliasing and by switching textures to low and medium, and by getting rid of shadows, we've gained quite a bit of FPS. The map still looks great. The dynamic lighting isn't quite as impressive, but the game FPS almost doubles. So that makes a huge difference. If you do get this map, you can definitely turn off things like shadows, turn off anti-aliasing and lower your textures to get a bit better performance. 
our VRAM usage still stays at around 40 gigabytes because the game will load up as much as it can to be as efficient as possible. So 48 gigabytes out of 64. It's a big load, but that means the game will not stutter as much when it needs additional textures. So as you can see, quite a bit of a performance improvement. And here we're again flying side by side over Berlin with graphics turned up on the left side with shadows and shadows turned off on the right side. And you can see the difference in the FPS, about 40 FPS in difference. Now, is there a big difference from your perspective as a pilot? Well, the shadows definitely add depth and more feeling to this beautiful map as it is. And remember, the map will only get bigger when you switch up to the fall and the winter textures. But for now, the map does load up fairly quickly, even though it is still a larger map. And I will tell you this, it looks absolutely gorgeous. So make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll be doing another test in VR and posting it soon.